Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I want to show you how to make the gaucho knot. I've been avoiding this one for a while because I had no idea what gaucho meant. So the other day I looked it up and it's basically an Argentinian cowboy. So a gaucho knot is some of their traditional knot work that they would use on their clothing and on their horse tack. And this particular knot would sometimes be used to hold a handkerchief or scarf around their necks. Let's dive in. So to make this knot, you're only gonna need about six feet of paracord, a type three fid, and something to wrap it around. That's about an inch wide. I've got a wooden dowel. So to start off, we wanna find the top of our mandrel or whatever we're wrapping. Just gonna make it easier to wrap the cord around. And we want to lay the cord alongside it like that. I'm gonna wrap around to the left, bring it back to the front and cross over our initial strand. Bring it around again and we'll cross back up to the top on the back side. Now we want to find our end with the fid. And bring it down underneath this strand here. So it's crossed up on the back side, bring it back around to the front with our short end, and bring it down through here. Just like that. Keep on wrapping around to the left. And we're at the bottom now. These cords crossing on the back. So we're gonna follow this cord back to the top, but we'll do the opposite. And where this one goes over, we'll go under. So then we'll keep on wrapping around to the left. And we're gonna follow alongside this other cord, but we'll do the opposite. So it's gonna go over the first one and under the second and then over the third. And then after we get all of our slack through, we'll keep on wrapping around to the left. So now we're gonna split these two. This is our original standing end. And we're gonna do the opposite. This goes under, over, under. We're gonna go over that first one, under the second, and over the third. Now we're almost done. We're pretty much gonna do the same thing on this last row. We wanna split these two rows right here. So now we're going to go underneath this first one. Over the second, underneath the third, and over that fourth chord. And then to finish it off, we'll just tuck our long end underneath that last cord to go right alongside of our stand again. So now we don't have our gaucho knot yet. This is just a five lead, four byte Turks head. Next, we're gonna form it into the gaucho and that's gonna involve some very specific steps, but I'll walk you through it. So starting off where we left off with our Turks head with an under heading back towards the top we're going to move our working end over our standing end so that it's on the left side, just like that. Then we're gonna follow that cord all the way to the top. So it matches with the over and unders. So we're gonna go with an over right beside that one. And next is an under and ending with an over. So now the next part to remember is where we're gonna go down through the knot next. So we followed this cord up and we're gonna go past it on our way back down. So that's this cord here. We're gonna be coming down right next to it. And our pattern for this time is under one, over one, under two, over two. And you'll see what I mean here. Under one, 
over one, under two, and then over two. It's just the number of chords we're skipping each time. So pull our slack through from that row, and we're going to use the same pattern to go back to the top. So we went to the left of this chord on the way down. We're going to cross over that and be following this one back. So following our same pattern of under one, over one, under two, and over two to bring us back to the top. Pull all of our extra cord through, being sure not to make any tangles. There we go. On our next pass down, the pattern is going to change to under one, over two, under two, over two. So looking where we came out right here. We're going to cross over that bite to go down right here. So under one, then over two, under two, over two. Pull that through. And back up to the top using the same pattern. So we crossed over this bite, so we're going to be heading back up right here. So that's an under one, over two, under two, over two. Now our pattern changes again, and this one's easy to remember. It's just under two, over two, under two, over two. So all twos. And that's crossing over this bite. So we'll go down right here. So we go under two. We're always starting with an under. Under two, over two, under two, over the last two. And there we've ended back where we started. So to finish that off, we're just going to do the same thing that we did with the Turk's head to set it up, but we'll just go under these two. And that makes that last little bite there to finish off the pattern. So there we go. Our gaucho knot is now done. It's a little bit harder to tell if you did this one right or not. But on each bite, each fold back on the top and bottom, it should come out over the top and go back in underneath. You can finish this off however you want. You can melt the ends where they are and do it around a handle like this. Um, but just be sure you don't cut off the ends until you tighten it around whatever you want its final resting place to be. It also holds its shape nice when you take it off so that it can be used as that woggle for a scarf. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. This one was a little bit harder to get it to stay still on camera and to show you guys every step along the way. So I hope you guys were able to follow. Um, but it's a fun knot and it's able to be used for a lot of different things for handle wraps and such. Um, you can do different sizes of this too. It doesn't have to be the same exact number of passes that I did. But that's a topic for another video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.